So uh, here's another process. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is um, called draw through or trace monotype um, or monotype. It's basically just inking up a plate. Um, I'm using uh, today, I'm using some purple Daniel Smith water based ink, but you can use anything. I use oil paint, uh, you can use printer's ink. Um, you want something that's that's a slow dryer though, because you don't want it to, acrylic will not work because it dries too quickly, unless you put a, a retarder in it or something like that. But um, I really like this, this Daniel Smith ink is actually quite beautiful. And um, I don't know if, I don't think they make it anymore, but they might, um, mm -hmm. but you could use, um, yeah, apparently they don't make it anymore. Um, but you can use um, Speedball. You can, like I said, you can use water-based oil paint uh, or you can use actual oil paint. So what you do is just put a tiny bit on a, on a plate. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. I've already inked this up a little bit. And then using a brayer, you're gonna need a brayer for this and a piece of, this is plexiglass by the way. And uh, one thing I've done is I've glued a piece of sandpaper on the bottom so it won't move around as much. And uh, maybe put that on a piece of, of uh, paper so you don't get ink everywhere, which, uh, which I'm doing. Uh, so you have a nice even coat of ink over the surface. And uh, I'm gonna remove that. Get that cleaned up a little bit. And um, this is a technique that Paul Clay used a lot. And um, if you look at some of his paintings, like the Twittering Machine, uh, you'll see some examples. He would actually, instead of using plexiglass, he would use a, a piece of oiled paper, but it's the same idea. And then I'm just going to place a piece of paper on top of the, uh, the plate. And then what you do is use a, a pencil, uh, which I have here, my black wing pencil. And, uh, and then you draw on the back of the, um, of the paper. And um, since this is a pattern class, I'm just going to draw. I'm going to draw triangles, I guess. Just going to make a pattern. But you can draw anything, and and uh, if you look at Paul Clay's uh, draw through pieces, they they usually representational. And maybe just a circle. The, the result, what you're aiming for, is to get something that has a kind of etched look. And uh, let's see what that looks like. So what happens is you get all this plate tone. And I have a, a little too much ink on there, so it's a, it's a little obliterated. But you can still see it pretty well. Um, but it has a, a kind of a beautiful quality that is, that's like a print. It's, it sort of takes you out of the game a little bit, the intellect. Um, because it is so, um, you know, there, there's a lot of um, unexpected consequences of using ink like this. So I'm just going to roll some ink, roll the, uh, the ink that's on there a little bit more. So as you do this, um, of course, the ink gets a little thinner and then it works a little better. Um, but you can do, I'll turn this on the side, and I'm just going to draw always draw the same rabbit over and over again. Oops. And everything comes out backwards too. So you can see how it looks kind of like an etching. And uh, of course, you can do this on cloth, uh, you know, paper, tissue paper, you know, different surfaces as well that you could actually combine and, you know, include in your, your, um, your patterns or your, or your collages if you're doing collages, for example. Just even, even if you're just making um, uh, just abstract squiggles, you know, I'm, I'm actually rubbing the, the, the corners a little bit on this one, but even if you're doing like a cynic writing, you know, writing that looks kind of like it has some sort of meaning. Um, it can look really quite amazing uh, as as a um, draw through. Do this one thing I like to do is do the the um, acimic writing one way, turn it over, 
and do the same squiggles the other way. There's a certain kind of emotional content uh, of making these sort of random squiggly marks. You can actually sort of, they can be sort of angelic or devilish, depending on your mood. And you just turn that over and you can see you have this really nice, interesting surface that you could use as a background. You could collage on top of that. You could actually print on top of that with stamps. Uh, we've, we've already covered stamping. So it can be, you know, it's multi, uh, has multiple, multiple possibilities. Uh, I think it's a great, it's a great method. And there's, it's open-ended. There's a lot of possibilities. So this might be something to try.